Hey guys, welcome back to Motivation and Box Trucking. I'm so excited to continue the state trucking series with you all. But before we get into it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you know anyone who's interested in trucking or is currently an owner operator, but is kind of stuck in the rut, be sure to share this video with them. So without further ado, let's get right into what's moving Arkansas. Quick side note, if anyone who knows why this is Arkansas instead of Arkansas, could you please let us know in the comment section? I would truly appreciate that information. But anyway, let's get right into it. Arkansas is located in the central United States and is bordered by six states. While it has no ocean ports, its border along the Mississippi River has many ports serving the port of New Orleans. Arkansas is home to one of the largest trucking companies in the United States, J.B. Hunt. J.B. Hunt was founded in 1961 by Johnny and Johnnell Hunt, and within 20 years, they became the third largest trucking firm in the United States. With thousands of employees, thousands of trucks, and hundreds of millions in profit, J.B. Hunt is legendary in Arkansas, and they're also an inspiration to all looking to grow their logistics empire. Knowing what Arkansas has to offer helps you to provide services that fulfill a need in your area. We will start with commodities. A commodity is a raw material or primary agricultural product that can be bought and sold such as copper or coffee. It is a useful or valuable thing such as water or your time. The top agricultural commodity in Arizona are broilers, bringing in $3.9 billion Dollars, yes, that's with a B, in 2022. Tyson Foods just recently moved its headquarters to Springdale, Arizona in 2022. Next are exports. Exports are a commodity, article, or service that's sold abroad, so they exit out of the state. Top exports are soybeans at $1.2 billion, followed by rice, cotton, broiler meat, and soybean meal. Now, the following are the top items moved by truck in Arkansas. Mid-sized automobiles. These are vehicles such as sedans, minivans, pickup trucks, etc. Secondly, Arkansas has many aircraft manufacturers in the state that need aircraft engines and parts. The Salt Aviation is a major manufacturer of private and military jets located in Little Rock. Luxury at its finest. Up next, we have railway tank cars. Now we primarily focus on non-CDL box trucking. However, there are so many opportunities in trucking if you open your mind to all the types of equipment that are out there. Most require class A, and some loads may require tanker endorsements. Obtaining these different endorsements or hiring those who have them can help you grow your company exponentially. Lastly, we have chemical wood pulp. The top wood pulp milling companies in Arkansas are Georgia Pacific and Dom Tar. Now, in true motivation and box trucking fashion, we will get into the Amazon relay opportunities. Taking a look at the load board, you see the options are very slim. There were no sortation centers. Aww. The two facilities running box truck loads are LIT1, and DLR2 located in Little Rock. These were all facility to facility loads running to Memphis, Tennessee. So prepare to do interstate routes if you want to run Amazon in Arkansas. As of the recording of this video, there are two new Amazon facilities planned for Arkansas in the upcoming years. The first is in Hot Springs and the other is in Jonesboro. It's not clear as to what specific type of facilities these will be. If you want to know more about Amazon Relay in your area, book a consultation and make sure you join the Patreon. The links are pinned to the top of the comments. Now, the best way to find out what trucking opportunities are available for you and your state is to join your state trucking association. I have a clip here of Shannon Newton, the president of Arkansas Trucking Association, explaining her advocacy for truckers during Trucker Appreciation Week last month. 
for that. Yeah, we also have uh, two billboards up in the state of Arkansas oh. trying to educate just, you know, every everyday average citizens um, of, of Truck Driver Appreciation Week and kind of um, refresh their memory about the important role that truck drivers play in their everyday lives. Yeah, because they are important. And, and they have more of a challenge now than I think they've ever had driving uh, on today's roads. It's definitely a challenge. It is. And we want, we want you know, the average Arkansans to reflect and, and understand the, um, the job that the truck drivers have and the, and the role that they're playing. And probably, you know, it, it was more exposed during COVID four years ago. But I think now maybe people have a little more respect they, they they understand a little bit more of when they're not getting stuff truck drivers got to bring it right i do think that we have um benefited from from covid in in some fashion in just the way that people have a better understanding of the trucking industry i hope so this was a really good interview and if you want to see it in its entirety the link is in the description below now back to the arkansas trucking association website there we will find the calendar of upcoming events. The year is almost over, but the event I want to focus on is the NATMI Compliance Training. Many people are unaware that there's actually higher education programs for logistics. You can get degrees and professional certifications from many institutions around America. The NATMI, which stands for North American Transportation Management Institute, offers certification courses online for you to maintain compliance and earn professional certifications in transportation. When you increase your knowledge, you fatten your wallets. So with that, I want to thank you for joining me on this journey of what's moving. Be sure to watch out for all 50 states. Until next time, stay safe and stay motivated.